Welcome to another Vlogmas episode. I've been working all morning, so I finally had time to come and pick up lunch. Um, one of the best spots here in Austin is CJ's Tacos, and I'm so lucky to live like right down the street from it. And they have a really nice little playground that Jordan loves to play on. Uh, but everybody's at home, so I just came to pick up, heading back home, got some editing to do, but uh, we're gonna have a little fun episode today. So one thing I've been using a lot lately for my social media editing has been the CapCut mobile app. For me, it's really easy to just load up my content and then edit on the go. And one reason I like to recommend CapCut to people who are either beginning in video editing or just trying to add it to their arsenal is because the free version is just as good as the paid version. At least for me, I think if you don't have the money to spend, CapCut's free version is really, really good. And one of the reasons I say that is because everything lives on the platform. So whether you're looking for music or for sounds or maybe even sound effects, um, there's a lot of things that live in the CapCut app. Also, you can find lower thirds, titles, and different animations and transitions for free on the CapCut app. Now, like I said, I like to use CapCut Mobile more than anything, really because I'm always on the go editing things on a hurry or maybe a lot of the stuff that I film is on my phone. So rather than having to send that over to the desktop or to the iPad, I already have it living here. So I'll just edit it on my phone. Now, I want to show you all today how I edit my drone videography on CapCut. The way that I get it onto my phone is I just plug it into the computer and then I will airdrop the file onto my phone. And once it's uploaded, then I just open it up in CapCut. So I'm gonna show you how I do that and how easy it is to color grade, not just drone footage, but any footage. So let's hop onto the app and let me show you how I do this. All right, so this is the way that the interface looks for CapCut, really, plain and simple. You have all these things to choose from and the majority of them are free. So once you want to start a new project, all you have to do is click new project. And now I'm going to choose a drone video. So as you can see, the video pops up as landscape. So we're just going to format that for social media. So you're going to go down here to the ratio button, click on that. Then when you see 916, which is a TikTok one, click on that as well. And then just go ahead and click on your video again. And once it's highlighted, you're just gonna pinch and zoom with your fingers to get that up to size. All right. So now the next thing I wanna do is make the video start once the drone starts moving. So all I do is just scrub on through and find when the drone starts moving, which is right there. So then I'm gonna come down here to split, cut that open and then delete this part. And then I'll just play this through so you can see this is what the video looks like originally. All right, we're also gonna get rid of that cap cut ending. So now what I wanna do is just add a really nice zoom to this. So what I'm gonna do is start it from here. Let's see, we'll go from here and then we'll click this plus button right there. Scrub all the way to the end. Readjust and then pinch to zoom. I want to get that right in the middle. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that's what the video looks like without any color grading. So now I'm going to go all the way to the beginning and then come down here right where it says filters so i do have the paid version so the one that i like to use especially right now during the fall is the leaf gaze but if you don't have the paid version the free version that i have been using um, has been this moody fall and it just does a really good job of adding those gold colors and those red and oranges to your footage but like i said i'm going to be using this leaf gaze and as you can see it already has a pretty good color to it. Now all we're gonna do is first of all, scrub to the part where you see more of the colors, or at least that's what I like to do, just so that I know what colors I'm be messing with. Click down here on polish, and then you can just scrub to add or take away how much of the filter you wanna add to your footage. So I kinda like it there. All right, now we're gonna go over to adjust. 
and this is what we're going to adjust how the footage is going to look overall again if you have the paid version you could actually click auto adjust and it will auto correct it to what it's going to look like and honestly it's not a bad job that's actually really good if we if we click it off you can see what that looks like and then on that does such a great job but since i'm doing this as a tutorial for y'all i'm gonna not use that so first thing i'm gonna do is try to get the brightness up so we can see more of the footage and also some of the contrast i like those shadows to pop in this kind of footage let's just scrub all the way over here so i can see the sky the water and all that good stuff right now i want to add a little bit more saturation the highlights as well so we can see the clouds a little bit more it's a little blown out so when the sky's blown out adding some highlight really brings it down so you can see the shadows a little bit better so i have it at a minus 23 and then i'm gonna mess with the shadows right here probably bump up the shadows a bit so you can see the reflection on the water the temperature i kind of like that orange feeling so i'm gonna just add a little bit see the hue Kind of like where it was so let's go back to zero all right so this is what it looks like with this is what it looks like without as you can tell that's a pretty good difference now we could just go back and play All right, and if you like the way that it looks, all you have to do is click the export button. And then within a few seconds, your video is gonna be exported. And then all you have to do is find a trending sound on Instagram, upload that, and there you go. You have your drone video ready to post for social media. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, to me, CapCut is probably the best editor out there right now, especially because it's free and there's so many things that you can do with it. So if you are someone who is in the market looking to get into editing and wants a really good editor, CapCut is so, so good. I want to do more tutorials about it because there's a lot of things that I'm even finding out as I'm using the paid version. Like they have a lot of great AI that's coming out. Um, they also have a lot of cool templates that you can use. If you don't know what kind of content to create and you don't know how to make it for social media, they also have a lot of templates that you can just look through and then get your footage and upload to that. So I highly recommend that you use CapCut, especially if you're a business or you're a social media content creator and you just don't want to think as much on the back end. CapCut has you covered. I hope y'all like this video. See y'all on the next one. Peace out.